name for those of you who don't know me is Matt Foley. And I have a motivational speaker. Now you're probably asking yourselves, what am I doing here? Well, I was getting paid 45 bucks to do this bit, so put a sock in it! Now then, I'm gonna tell y'all a Christmas story. It's a story about when Baby Lemon Cow tried to save Christmas after Jolly Old Saint Nick had a little whoopsie daisy on Christmas Eve. But really, that little whoopsie daisy was just Santa's way of saying he was unmotivated to do what he does best over the holidays. He didn't feel the, the passion to deliver presents to all the good little children in the world. Sounds like Santa needs some motivation. Unfortunately, I was unavailable as I was busy doing what I usually do during Christmas. I was eating some expired fruitcake in a van down by the river. Now, let's start the story, shall we? It all begins on one Christmas Eve. Christmas cow. Sounds like this uh, make me feel like Christmas should be every day, but you know, I watched the Sesame Street movie almost saves Christmas, and if Christmas was every day, everyone would be without a job, there'd be no money, and Santa would be so overworked he'd die from exhaustion. Yeah. The best part about Christmas is, you know, seeing Christmas cows, telling holiday stories, watching Christmas specialists on TV. Opening presents, eating cookies, singing carols, opening presents, opening presents. Yeah, Cal, but you know that the true meaning of Christmas has absolutely nothing to do with presents whatsoever. What? Then what is the true meaning of Christmas? Cal, Cal, Cal. The true meaning of Christmas is to be kind to each other and, you know, to express everyone's gratitude towards each other. Or in, in the words of Josh Nichols, giving. Sure, I'm a giver. Eh, we can't all be givers. I'm a taker. I just get some. I can't help it. It's tradition. After all, tis the season of getting. Don't you mean the season of giving? Exactly, baby lamb. The more you give, the more I get. <laughs> you know, baby lamb, it's almost close to Christmas Eve. What are we going to do for our big Christmas special? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I think I've decided... I don't know how we're going to pull it off, but I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll find a way. Well, lay it on me, what is it? Well, have you ever heard of the popular Christmas special, A Charlie Brown Christmas? Oh yeah, that movie is so classic. Anyway, uh, what's it going to be about? We might do something uh, similar to that, like a parody. Like that one time in the, Sim in the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror special, they made a parody of It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. <laughs> like what? I can be Charlie Brown, and you can be Linus. Cool. Oh, 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 can I get a very important role? Okay, Ricky, you can be the role of Snoopy. A dog. He's not just a dog. He has a lot of crazy adventures when he's flying around with his dog house. Like, he, he's battling a, a red, the Red Baron, an airplane, you know, like the one from World War I. You mean I'm battling, like, in the war? Yeah, something similar to that. Okay, the decision is made. I'll be Snoopy. Yeah, but some of the friends we, some of the guys we know are adults. How are we gonna pull it off? We'll just have to make them look like little kids. Guys, guys, look up in the sky. Oh, oh, oh. I can't believe my tiny little eyes. It is Santa Claus. Oh, oh, there. <gasps> Santa. Don't worry, Santa, I got you. <gasps> what are you doing, Ricky? Try and sing character. Oh. oh no. Ho ho ho. Santa, are you okay? What the? Huh? Where am I? You're still on the roof of the RV. Yeah, apparently you fell off your sleigh while you were trying to deliver presents. And uh, you fell down and and uh, you hit the roof of the RV so hard. You sort of like you sort of became unconscious for a little while. But you're better. You're better. Just in time to deliver presents. Oh. 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 
my god, Santa, you hurt! Ah, my leg! Uh, Santa, what SpongeBob episode did you see? Not that. My leg hurts. I think I might have broken it. The impact must have cracked my bone for good. Oh my god, Santa's hurt! Quick, someone put him in a chair. Don't worry, Santa. You're gonna be okay. Man, he must have been pretty hurt. Oh, this is just great. What? It's like 300 whole years without no accidents? And now I have a broken leg, and it's, it's almost Christmas. <laughs> Nunu's right. It is really bad. Yeah, now Santa's hurt. Who will deliver all the presents for the little boys and girls? I can't. Do I can't do my duties like this? I need to go down the chimney, walk over, like put candy in their stockings or clothes they've been eye and put presents under the tree, and then go back up the chimney and into the sleigh, and have to do it all over and over again for every single house in the world. You know, Santa, I've been wondering for a very long time, how are you able to go to every single boy and girl's house in just one night? Well, it's simple, Ricky. You ding, faster, done, ding, faster, done, ding, faster, done, ding, faster, done. I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. I'm a big town, no, so I'm a little, 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 Wow, and just to think I've been wondering all these years, but don't tell anyone. And how are you able to slide down all those chimneys when uh, you're, well, uh, you're fat? <laughs> well, it's pretty simple. S-A-N-T-A-C-L-A-U-S Santa's going to make sure that your Christmas is a bear! Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. And that's how I'm able to slide down all those skinny little chimneys. And to think that all this time Big Bird was wondering. But don't tell him. And how do reindeer fly? <laughs> well, it well, the scientific fact is Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh I finally do I need my heart. Shut up before I spit on you. Yes, please stop singing while Santa's explaining the meanings of impossible stuff. Guys, come on, focus. Santa's in a horrible accident, and now we fear that there'll be no Christmas, which means no presents. And no presents means no Christmas. And with no Christmas, everything is ruined! <laughs> Baby lamb, come sit on my lap. Oh. Sorry. S so... Sorry I freaked out, Santa Claus. I just couldn't bear the thought of no Christmas. I mean, if Christmas is ruined, what does that mean for me? I don't know, baby lamb. Sometimes it makes me feel like it's for the best, eh? Stop. Stop the whole Christmas thing. <gasps> what? No Christmas? This is an outrage! Yes, yeah, Santa. A lot of kids are depending on you to deliver presents to all the people who've been nice. That's exactly it. Everyone's thinking that Christmas is about presents. Really, it's about being nice to everyone and being thankful for their, for having a lot of people to have in company. This is exactly what I'm saying. I've got an idea. Why don't you have someone else uh, do your role so that way Christmas could be saved? I mean. Someone who definitely knows a lot about you. You mean you want someone to impersonate me? The Santa Claus? That's stupid. Stupid? I'm sorry, it's just I'm in a lot of stress. I have a lot of presents to do, have a lot of places to go to. So, it's all just a crazy, so crazy. Come on, Santa. I mean, Christmas Eve's tomorrow. You need to, like, you know, Train someone to be like you. Come on, Santa, can't you at least anticipate the idea? Come on, like, how many people are paid to impersonate me? I don't know, maybe 9, 15? You really think that 
someone has the guts to impersonate me? Well, uh, Terrence is uh, dressed up like you. Maybe, maybe he could do your duties. What do you say, Terrence? 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 It's hopeless, guys. No one can impersonate me. I might as well sh I might as well shave my beard and move to Florida and cancel Christmas forever. Let's see, Timmy Turner, Elmo, Mordecai and Rigby, Mickey Mouse, and Charlie Brown can save Santa. I don't remember Charlie Brown saving. Did I know? One of us has the guts to save Christmas. Well, I'm not trying to make any suggestions, but you and Cal have always been uh, very nice every Christmas. A little bit weird, but very nice. So, you saying that maybe Cal and I should fulfill your duties? Well, I'm saying this in the same way I said it to Rudolph the Reynolds Reindeer. Baby Lamb and Cal, wish your spirits so bright. Will you help me save Christmas Eve night? Santa Claus, it was a big job, but it will be an honor to do so. We accept it. One by one, each of you touch my beard and tug at the ball of my hat. <laughs> you know, I just had a crazy thought. I remember reading the book this word, uh, you uh, touch your nose and all, and you had like a horrible cut, and when you touch your nose, it disappeared. Why can't you do that for your leg? It only works for minor injuries. This is very serious. <laughs> Baby Lab, look, I'm a Christmas fishy. Wow, what just happened? When you touch my beard and pull the ball on my hat, you have been instantaneously been given the powers of Santa Claus, which is me. Cool. Now I wish you boys the best of luck. Santa, we won't let you down. Don't worry, Santa. We won't be gone long. Actually, it will. It will take you all night. Oh. But come on. Remember, you have this one chance to save Christmas. If you do this, I'll put you on my nice list permanently. If you don't, I'll just put you on my nice list. Don't worry. We'll get it done. On new new. On new new. We have this one chance to save Christmas. Christmas time, here we come. Will Baby Lamb and Cal be able to save Christmas and do Santa's job before Christmas morning comes? Well, stay tuned for part two and find out. What are you looking at?